Alright guys, uh, before the video gets started, I was literally just about to upload it, but I realized I have one very special announcement for today. As many of you know, one of the groups I've been involved in on campus is uh, Camp Kesem. It's one, honestly, probably one of the most important things, and kind of one of the things that's defined my Yale experience. I was a counselor at Camp Kesem this past August. It was just absolutely incredible. For those of you that don't know, Camp Kesem is an organization that puts on free, week-long summer camps for kids who have parents that have been affected by cancer. I mean, you have kids coming to this camp whose parents are going through treatment. You have kids that have lost their parents, and this camp really means a lot to them. Having a parent with cancer really makes you grow up fast, and this camp is a place where they can meet other kids who have gone through similar experiences. So why does this matter? Well, today is Giving Tuesday, which is the biggest fundraising day of the year for Camp Kesem. Obviously, these summer camps are free, and we have to have some way to pay for them. So it's my job as a counselor to raise money throughout the year so we can send kids to camp. Um, so today, I have pledged to raise $500, and I need your guys' help. If I do end up hitting my $500 goal by the end of the day, I have accepted a dare to eat an entire ghost pepper, post the video to this YouTube channel for you guys to see all my suffering in tears. So... Get hyped for that. So whether you want to see me suffer, whether you love me, whether you love kids, whether you just hate cancer, I strongly recommend donating even just a couple dollars. It's It would mean the world to to these kids that, I mean, Camp Kesem is just something that they can look forward to every summer and they're just, they're just going through so much. So what I'll do is I'll leave my link below. Anything helps, literally anything. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you. I hope I hope you'll support Camp Kesem because it's just it's just a great cause. So with that, roll the video. Just wanna be alone, oh, oh, with you. Just wanna be alone, oh, oh, with you. It could be a party or two up in a stadium, jumping off the porch like mom's not home. Tell me why the best things feel so wrong. All right, it's been a little while. You're probably wondering, Josh, why haven't you been filming? Uh, well, it happens to be a very stressful time here at Yale. I mean, most, most of the time here at Yale is pretty stressful, but especially this past week, which is kind of the first week when midterms begin to start, uh, which is kind of scary to think that I'm already six or seven weeks into the semester and it feels like I just got here, but now I'm cramming for midterms. I actually had four, I mean three, and then a project this week. Um, two of them are done, the project's done, I just have one more. Um, and yeah, it's been it's been quite a week, it's been quite a grind. Uh, so I'll explain to you guys a little bit, lay you down like what the grind's been like, because it has been quite stressful. All right, my first midterm was this past Monday. Uh, by the way, today is Saturday, and that was in Electrical Engineering 202, or Communication, Computation, and Control. Or in other words, all of that stuff. So this electrical engineering class has actually been pretty cool so far. We've done a lot of work with uh, code words information theory mainly, um, which is just a really cool concept and something that I've you know never really gotten to explore before. Basically answering the questions, uh, we have some information, we need to get it from one place to another through a channel. Um, that channel may mess up the information, we don't even know. So how do we most efficiently code this information, code each symbol into a code word? transferring it from one place to another so that it gets to the other side and it gets to the other side where the code's errors can be detected or even corrected. So it's just some really cool stuff. Uh, uh, the midterm was a beast. It was three hours long. Uh, we made it through and I feel like it was definitely difficult, but it went okay. Today afternoon was CS. Obviously I'm a CS major, so this class has been pretty interesting so far. Um, it's just Yale's basic data structure class. It's a lot of fun, it's taught in C though, which is a little annoying, but I think I'm finally beginning to at least accept the fact that I'm just gonna have to use pointers and memory allocation and deal with memory leaks and all that stuff more consistently, and I'm just, I'm getting better at it. Um, wish it wasn't taught in C, but you know, I can't change that. It's making me a better programmer. It's making me think about things that other languages wouldn't. So uh, that's been good. The midterm was on Thursday. It went pretty well, I'd say. Uh, definitely some some questions out of left field, but luckily I had studied pretty hard, so uh, I was able to kind of answer some of those. Friday, I had to present my kind of midterm design project in architecture, which was uh, very, very time consuming. Uh, so we were given like a specific set of materials. I think it was like 10 opaque like rectangles 
that had to be to scale and then like five columns and like a pediment or something and we had to just design a building, design a space using these materials and we could only like cut them in half once and it had to be to scale or whatever. Yeah, so I came up with this little structure over here. Um, the goal is to do, uh, kind of like assign a function to the building. So uh, I guess this function is uh, like some sort of log cabin type of thing. The paint job really did not turn out very well. I, I built the whole thing in foam core. It looked great. It looked great, um, but like I kind of wanted to cover up some of the rough edges and everything. So I'm like, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna paint it. And uh, as soon as I started painting it, I immediately regretted everything I did because uh, now it just literally looks like a pile of uh, yeah, you know what? But anyways, I feel like the design part of it was at least good enough. And uh, so presented that yesterday. And uh, now I just have one midterm left, and that is CS202, which is discrete math. And speaking of that, I have to go get food and head over to my favorite study spot because I'm going to be grinding on that for the rest of the day, so let's go. Good morning, Kingry. How are we doing? I'm doing pretty great. I'm uh, reading Death of a Salesman uh, for my, actually my Japanese culture class, so that I can then write Death of a Salaryman. Here we go. So, zero originality. Do you want to explain the study spot, uh, why there's so much elevated peanut butter? <laughs> well, the peanut butter is because, uh, as you can probably tell, I've lost a lot of weight, but I still enjoy food. And uh, you can't eat food and also lose weight. And I found that the only thing that I can eat that's sweet is peanut butter. So I just stock up on a lot of peanut butter at the beginning of the month and then slowly eat my way through it throughout the month. So there we I'm go. not tempted to blow my diet. Good stuff. So that's how I remain skinny to me. Brunch. TV brunch is one of my favorite things in the world, oh. especially on a Saturday morning. Brunch you, keeps me going. You don't feel like you have to do any work until brunch ends. Yeah. Uh, All right, let's that's go. Exactly what it's been. <laughs> Can you hear the drumming? 